Welcome to the InfoCAD video tutorial. This video shows the input of a small building construction project. The following processing steps are shown. First, the drawing of a model with edge objects. Secondly, assigning properties such as bearing, beam series or free beams. Third, add the model faces. And finally, generate the FEM mesh. First select the finite element system structure type. Then, start the model drawing with the edge command. Draw the geometry in the floor plan and activate the relative coordinate input. X and Y are separated by a space when you enter them. The top margin is copied down by 2 and 4 meters, respectively. Switch to 3D mode and complete the drawing. Select all existing borders and copy them 3 meters up and 3 meters down. For the 3D editing you have to enter the three coordinates X, Y and Z separated by spaces. Now add the vertical edges. For example, enter one edge and then copy it to the other existing edge ends. Then trim and delete the unnecessary edges. Now enter the single supports with the command column. The wireframe model is now complete. Now you can assign properties such as support, beam series or free beam to the edges. The beam series property is used for the beams and the free beam property for the columns. For the edges with the beam series and free beam properties, you can immediately define cross sections. To do this, select the cross section type polygon and specify rectangular geometry. The steel layers for the subsequent design are already specified here. The properties of the edges are visualized in the drawing. Now the faces for the FEM meshing have to be defined. Select the face command and set the properties such as cross section and material for this as well. Now select the edges that boundary a face. Once the surface geometry is defined, the surface will be created. The boundary search option can also be used to automatically create the largest face in a plane. When all faces are defined, the model drawing is complete. Now start the mesh generator. It will generate a FEM mesh according to the properties of the model drawing. Check the generated FEM system with the help of the cross-section display.
Thank you for your attention.